Hey guys, it's Amanda and today we are going to be talking about the Integrated Science program at McMaster University, which is the program that I am in. I'm going into my second year and I'm specializing in Earth and Environmental Sciences. So this will be one of many program breakdowns that I'll be making and I will quickly highlight what we're going to go over in this video. So first I'm going to start off with some information for high school students looking to apply to this program. So a bit about what the program is, what makes it special, prerequisites you need to apply, the application process in whole, what grades you need, the supplement entry application. Then we will discuss what your first year will look like, so what courses you need to take. I'll talk a bit about what you learn in those courses, what electives you can take, and how many electives you have available, our research projects, which are a huge part of the program, and finally a bit about grading schemes and just community vibe. Finally, I'll give you some information for beyond first year, so specializations, jobs that you can go into with this degree, and certain pros and cons to the program in my opinion. I also got a lot of my peers to participate in this video, so at the end you will get to hear the opinions of upper year students, of other first years, and some alumni as well. So let's get right into it. What is integrated science? So integrated science is a direct entry research focused program that attacks real life issues from an interdisciplinary perspective through our research projects. Just like any science program in university, we do learn general topics such as chemistry, biology, etc. But the difference is that these research projects in our program bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and just general content to real life skills and applications applications of this knowledge. What also is very unique about this program is how small it is. We take about 60 students per year, my cohort only has 53 this year, and the community is honestly like a family. As this is a direct entry program, you will be graduating with a degree in Honors Integrated Science and you can choose a specialization and also a minor or you can go unspecialized, but I will elaborate on that further on in this video. You need at least high 80s to be considered for this program. And then they will look at your supplementary application, which is due around February. You answer a series of questions and my tips for this supplementary application would just be to convey a real passion for science and a willingness to learn. If you can also integrate any type of leadership experiences or extracurriculars you did in high school into those answers without making it glaringly obvious, that can also help your chances because you kind of want to impress the people who are reading it without sounding too robotic. You want it to be personal, but you also want it to be impressive. Also, in order to apply, you have to have completed in grade 12, English, advanced functions, calculus and vectors, and two of chemistry, biology, and physics. And then one other free elective, so your highest mark that isn't any of those courses, will also be added to that and that will be your top six when applying. However, that is just for Ontario students. Again, if you are an international student or if you're out of province, please visit the office of the registrar's site and there'll be more information posted there. Now, what's life like in first year? Personally, I found that the community in ISI, and I know many other people feel this way, very much does feel like a family. The profs are always there to help you. I actually got very sick during my first round of exams, and I remember being so upset and needing to talk to someone, and I called one of my profs, and I talked to him. He was very, very sweet. He asked me to focus on my mental health because mental health is much more important than our grades. And I do think there are a lot of profs out there like that, but it is such a bonus to be able to speak to them one-on-one, -on -one, to be able to reach out to them whenever you have an issue. And I spoke to my calc instructor as well. She is so sweet. I love all of I teach, and I teach is what we call all of the professors and all the staff that work in integrated science. So that's something that's very unique. You are a very tight-knit community with your profs as well as with students. There are ample opportunities to connect with alumni and also with current upper year students and it's just nice to be able to speak to people who have already been through your situation. So in first year you can definitely expect to have that awesome community aspect which is also very good for networking and in terms of connections which is something you don't really think about in high school but it is extremely helpful and very valuable to have that type of network so early on. You're definitely at an advantage over other general science programs in that way. So in ISI, you will be taking six year-round courses, which include calculus, earth science, chemistry, physics, life sciences, and science literacy. In calculus, you will be learning what everyone else in a general science program would be learning. So integrals, derivatives, and a couple other spicy little things. 
in the life science courses, you will be learning about a little bit of social psychology, a little bit of molecular biology, a lot of ecology, and a lot of dynamics. It's a very unique course. In chemistry and physics, you'll be learning pretty much the same thing as other general science students. It's essentially a lot of high school revision first semester, and then you kind of build on that second semester. So the content itself isn't necessarily hard, but it definitely is difficult to juggle such a heavy schedule. And then in science literacy, you learn how to do proper research, how to communicate that research, properly and a lot of things that you just don't know and couldn't know in high school such as where to find good research how to do good research it's an awesome course and helped me so much in my research projects and the last full year course is earth sciences so all those courses you have them first semester and second semester so that's six right there and then every semester you also have to take an elective i took anthropology first semester and social psychology second semester so you don't have to take things that are related to your major i know some people took music other people took computer science and stats so there's a lot of variety there and it's really nice to be able to take something that isn't necessarily science so now let's talk research projects because this is such a huge part of this program like i said it's a way in which students are able to apply their knowledge and apply theoretical content that we've learned to real life situations. So for example, one of my most favorite projects was planetary exploration. All of our groups had to plan an investigation to Mars and my group did the means of detection of biogeochemical cycles that may indicate life. I believe we did it through detection of methane, but I honestly can't remember. My overall favorite project though was for sure having to create a pitch about renewable energies in remote areas and justify this choice using scientific facts and learning about the region. In in terms of grading and marking, our research projects are worth a lot. So if you're not very good at taking tests or taking exams, your research projects will balance that out. It is not uncommon at all to get A pluses or consistent A's in your research projects as long as you get things done and do good quality work. But the type of people who are in the program, so the type of people that you will be working with on these projects are very hardworking, they're determined, they're intelligent. So again, it's not difficult to get a good mark. It just takes a lot of work. Our exams and tests are pretty standard. A lot of them are multiple choice, but yes, the grading scheme is much different. I genuinely think it's easier to get a high grade in this program than it would be in something like life sciences because the research projects really help boost your marks. So you will be getting your marks based on tests, exams, labs, small projects, and our large research projects, which there are five in first year. In terms of time management, you'll have to be getting pretty good at that because it's a lot. I'm gonna insert a picture of my timetable in first year. And as you can see, it's pretty filled. It's pretty busy. I was definitely burnt out sometimes because I was also doing multiple extracurriculars. I was helping starting a new club. I did volunteering and I was working two jobs at the time. So I was all over the place and I feel like it would have been much more manageable had I not been, but I still did very well in first year and I'm proud of myself for getting through it but it definitely is a bit of a shock coming from high school into the university workload and just having so much in-class time. Now let's talk about beyond first year. In terms of specializations, there are a few and I'm going to read them to you. Biochemistry, biology, chemical biology, chemistry, earth and environmental sciences, which is what I'm doing, environmental sciences in general, mathematics and statistics, medical and biological physics, physics, and then psychology, neuroscience, and behavior. If you go to the McMaster ISI website and click on current students, you'll be able to go through the PDFs that show you which courses that you need to take in order to complete that specialization. And it goes very in depth. So I recommend you go check those out just so you have an idea of the possible paths you can take with this program. It is also possible to go completely unconcentrated and take pretty much any electives you want. So in second year, you will have four elective spaces because the ISI course that year will only be 18 units or credits or however you want to call them. So you can use that space to fill it up with anything you'd like to do. It is also very easy and straightforward to get a minor as a lot of things are electives. So if you're taking, for example, a biochemistry concentration, you might be able to minor in biology. Someone who is unconcentrated could also take two minors, whereas someone who has a concentration can only take one. So now let's talk about career prospects. When you graduate from integrated science, you're prepared to honestly do pretty much everything. Alumni have gone into medical school, dental school, MD, PhD programs. So getting your PhD while you're in medical school, veterinary school, law school. A lot of people went to law school. They can go and get their MBA. A lot of people go straight into the workforce. A lot go into grad school. You can go into pharmacology, optometry, literally anything you want to do. 
alumni have done it or the integrated science program will set you up to do it. If you guys are interested in learning a bit more about some of the things that alumni have done, I will hopefully be interviewing people. There's this one girl that I was talking about with one of my profs who worked for NASA and was just did so many cool, cool things. And I think it would really be helpful to hear from those people what they've done with their degrees. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. And finally, I'm gonna give my perspective on pros and cons of this program and things that I didn't really expect when going into first year. So I didn't expect the workload to be as heavy as it was. It definitely was manageable, but it was just a large adjustment. A huge pro of the program is the small amount of people that are in my cohort as it allows you to connect with your peers better with um, upper year students better and you're able to connect with your profs much better than someone in perhaps life size that prof would have about a thousand students our classes are super super small you can reach out to them directly if you have questions i just think it's such a big plus having those resources available to you and also everybody in integrated science wants everyone else to succeed. Like I said, it's a big family. The props just want to see you succeed. Your friends just want to see you succeed. Your peers who might not be like your close friends, they want to see you succeed too. Everybody helps each other out and it's just a great dynamic. So now you're going to see some videos from students who are currently in the program or who have graduated and they will share some information, advice, and opinions with you guys. Hey everyone, my name is Tushar and I'm an incoming third year student in Honors Integrated Science with a concentration in biology and currently working towards an interdisciplinary minor in community engagement. So some pros about ISI that I find include the fact that we have a really supportive community that's going to support you regardless of your path after undergrad, whether that be in science or not, and the fact that we have a lot of elective space so you can really personalize your degree. One con that I would find is the fact that we have a large workload at times and this is exasperated just due to the breadth of the content that we study, that sometimes you feel like the workload is not representative of what you want to get into. So for example, if you don't really like physics as much, you're going to be still made to do some more physics. And I think that can get draining at times. Um, however, once again, with the community, it is pretty manageable. So one piece of advice I would have for any incoming integrated science student is to be open to learning as many concepts as possible because we're going to learn a lot in this program and there's a lot of skills a lot of research skills that go into it which is something i absolutely enjoy it's the soft skills that really make isi a different program what i want to do after undergrad is currently in the healthcare field i'm not exactly sure if that's going to look more on the public health side research clinical i'm looking at healthcare overall uh, but i think that isi regardless of the path that i choose will have prepared me in the right way Hi everyone, my name is Angela and I am a fourth year integrated science student who is graduating this June who concentrated in biochemistry. One pro of the ISI program is that it's really small. So this kind of creates like a community that you have throughout all four years of university, which is really rare. One of the cons of the programs I would say is just that it sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming. You're learning all of the sciences at a pretty high level, so it can be difficult and you might have some things that you might not enjoy as much as others, but it also exposes you to a lot of new things and really gives you a more holistic view of what science can be and what kind of avenues you can take post undergrad. One piece of advice I have for first years is that you should always be proud of yourself. Even when things don't seem to be going your way or you know, you're not doing as well as you think you should be doing, um, you always have to think about all the stuff that you've accomplished and that it's really great that you've even gotten to this point. So always be proud of yourself. And my plans for post undergrad are that I will be attending the University of Toronto and completing a master's of pharmaceutical sciences. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin and I just finished my fourth year of eyesight in the biology specialization. I'll be graduating in June and then starting my master's in psychology, neuroscience and behavior at McMaster. I would say that my favorite part about ISI is definitely the family atmosphere. I can say from the first day that I walked onto campus that I honestly felt like I had 60 new best friends and that definitely continued throughout all four years of my degree and was an amazing experience. I would say the one drawback to ISI is that sometimes it's hard to fit in other courses and electives with the busy ISI schedule. I know that I had an interest in classes like French and English, but found it hard to fit in those electives with my busy schedule. And if I had one piece of advice to give to all the incoming first years, it's definitely to find a work-life balance. I know that university can be a huge challenge coming in, but definitely take some time to explore Hamilton, take breaks, and hang out with your friends because that's also a really important part of your university experience. 
Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm in my third year of Integrated Sciences. I'm doing a specialization in Psychology, Neuroscience, and Behavior. I'm also doing a minor in Earth and Environment. A pro from ISI would be the number of opportunities that you get sort of career-wise and research-wise and also the sense of kind of family that you get from your program. Everybody is so tight-knit and close. A con to ISI would be the heavy workload. There's a lot to be done and a lot is expected of you, but it really teaches you discipline and how to work hard, which is really important. One piece of advice that I would give to an incoming first year would be not to compare yourself to others. You're about to be surrounded by some of the smartest, most inspiring people you've ever met in your life, and that can be really intimidating, but it's important to remember that you are one of those people too, and that you are more than capable of succeeding. Um, Post-undergrad, I plan on going to uh, grad school for either clinical or forensic psychology. Hi everybody, my name is Carly. I'm going into my second year of integrated science with a concentration in biology. A pro to ISI would definitely be that it prepares you for the scientific community and not just school. A con to ISI is the workload and subsequently the time commitment. This is especially difficult if you have friends in less intensive programs who are going out on their Fridays and Saturdays instead of studying. My advice to an incoming first year would be to reach out to your community of peers and profs. Everyone is rooting for you and is in your corner supporting you. After my undergrad, I would like to get into healthcare by either going to medical school or pharmacy school. After that, I would like to work overseas as a humanitarian. Hello, I'm Preetha Patel, a rising sophomore in the Integrated Sciences, or ISI, here at McMaster. One of the most defining features of ISI is its small classroom sizes, which allow you to interact one-on-one -on -one with the program faculty. It also allows for great intra- and inter-cohort connectedness. In ISI, we demonstrate great vigor in applying concepts across multiple disciplines and learn how to think, as opposed to what to think, through well-thought research projects, labs, and simply just lecture material. However, quality in this case is not mutually exclusive to quantity. The sheer depth of the extensive curriculum can lead to a tasking workload, especially if it's coupled with extracurriculars and external commitments. Personally, I found that adequate time management has been a tried and true solution, and I'm sure others can attest to this as well. All in all, ISI has been incredible for me and will undoubtedly serve me well in my future aspirations of human medicine, be that in the form of oncological research, academia, clinical practice, or even all three. Beyond that though, it's helped me recognize the bridges between different facets of my life, which is a useful ideology in any career path. Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm a soon-to-be third-year student at McMaster in the Integrated Science program, and my concentration is biochemistry. One pro I can say of ISI is the sense of community you'll have with not just your peers, but also the I teach and your professors. They offer you lots of support to help make, to make sure you succeed, not just academically, but also outside of school. One con I can say of ISI is the incredibly rigorous course load. However, with the correct time management, and if needed assistance, you can get through it and do quite well. One piece of advice I would give to incoming students is to make sure you network and build a community around you, especially with students from other years. My plans after I are to go to medical school and become a doctor. My name is Maniza and I am going into my second year in the Integrated Science program at MAC and I plan on concentrating in chemical biology in the upcoming academic year. And after undergrad, I Right now I'm considering farm or dentistry. So a pro of the ISI program would definitely have to be our community, technique community, everyone's absolutely amazing. Our profs, our upper years, our cohort, everyone is so ready to help you. There's so much support, so many resources available, so many people available. It's an amazing environment. Um, and I find that that supportive environment really leads to an enriching learning experience, which is absolutely fantastic. A con would definitely have to be the work schedule. We were very heavy on lectures and our schedules are a lot heavier than other programs. So it was really, and on top of that, we had RP meetings, homeworks and assignments, etc. A lot of stuff going on all the time. So it's really important that you manage your time properly and efficiently. Advice for incoming first years would definitely have to be just get it done. Hi everyone, my name is Lily. I am going into my second year and I am in the biology concentration. One of my favorite things I would say about ISI is how close-knit it is. You spend all your time together basically because you have all the same classes. You end up becoming like a family. One of the downsides to ISI, and I feel like other people might say this as well, is that it's really, really busy. I would say my tip for incoming first years and just for anyone in general is 
don't waste any opportunities don't miss out on any opportunities if you want to get where you want to be in life you have to take risks apply for that position that you might not be fully qualified for go to that seminar reach out to that person just do what you want to do and don't be afraid you know live your life to the fullest all right guys that's the end of this video i hope it provided you with some clarity and insight into this program if you found it valuable please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will be talking about many more things on this channel such as financial literacy as a student i'll be talking about other programs universities as a whole things that you need to know going into first year and just a lot more university content i'm very excited for it so i guess i'll see you then